So we begin by boiling the ingredients that I'll list in the description. Then I strained it and laid it out to kind of cool. This is the juice that was left over and we'll keep that for a little bit later. Right here, <coughs> Caroline and I are trying to use the meat grinder to grind it all up. And I'm telling y'all, this thing gave me fits, man. Like, it just wasn't doing. I kept having to I don't eat food in the back it up and go forward and back it up and go forward and scrape the stuff off the front. I really, I kind of felt like I didn't know how to use the thing. See right here, it looks like it's coming out. So I put more in. And then it just doesn't want to come out anymore. Turn it towards you. So if anybody out there towards knows you. what I did wrong, there you go, just like that. Um, let me know. Yep, it's Caroline wanted to help, so uh, there you go. I figured why not? Wow. Couldn't get any worse than I was doing. It? So here she goes. Love that face. It's the hard working Cajun face right there. You As you can see, I'm still in my night clothes. That's because it, the food that you saw me boil in the beginning, the uh, chicken. Oh, juicy. Uh, I'm sorry, not chicken. Well, chicken livers. Um, oh, it shot out the fit in my phone. Roast from a wild hog. Ew, um, boo, that juice on my phone. And the trinity, the celery, bell peppers, and onions. I even put some garlic in there. They had to boil for like three it, hours. Look how yucky that looks. I mean, come on, y'all. I was doing See, something wrong with this grinder, for real. Stop, um, stop it. But I kept, I kept trying. Stop, you know, so we wound up grinding it, pulling it back out, and taking it out the top and using that because obviously, I am grinder stupid. But you know, whatever. I'm gonna keep grinding it, and it's not. Caroline was a big help. She was very encouraging, just telling me I could do it, Mom, and it smells yummy, and I love boudin, and you know things like that. But um, I, like I said, I cooked all I've these ingredients for about. Pork before. I don't understand it was a good two and a half, three and a half hours. Um, just ball, 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 ball. <laughs> I added a little bit of salt and pepper and some basil's, but um, I didn't add too many seasonings because. Is that what he said? Uh, I wanted to add it at the end, and, and right there you saw me blocking the grinder with my spoon. That's because a minute ago I when mean, I was spinning, boudin juice shot out and hit my phone. So I was trying well, to uh, yet, hinder that from happening rice, again. And the green onion. Uh, here I am. We're almost done. Measles. We're getting there. Um, oh, I just know grinding you're away. Trying to, still trying to figure you out how in the world to work time, this day huh? grinder. I'm telling y'all, this thing gave me fits. I, I and I, but I persevered because Papa Texas need needed some egg roll videos, uh -huh. and we, the kids and my husband, like boudin egg rolls and we always buy them so i figured what the heck i'm gonna go for it myself um this is actually my first time ever making buddha at all um not coming out they told me it was good but i don't eat buddha that's right i'm a cajun who doesn't eat buddha whatevs i also don't suck the heads on crawfish whatevs i don't i will eat the crap out some crawfish but i don't suck the heads i don't know why i just think it's yucky anyway back to the buddha um Still trying to make this grinder work. <laughs> this old crazy grinder. Um, I think at one point I even um, knocked my phone down a few times because we were really trying to make this work. Oh, here comes the KZ. Oh, Caroline work face. Yeah, she worked really hard to help me with this. Oh, okay. there. You're doing great. You're grinding it up. Grinding it up. Grind it, Caroline. Grind it. And the reason I'm doing a voiceover, if y'all are wondering, you is because, you, you know, I have right. 10 children. There is so much background noise. Y'all yeah, would I feel like getting not hard. appreciate that in any way. Say, oh, wait. I think I'm about to knock the phone over because I started getting kind of crazy <laughs> with the grinder. Oh, there goes the oh, phone. phone fell again. And no, I did not edit it out oh, because I'm okay. not We're gonna an get editor. It. We're going to get it. Oh, almost got a glimpse of my face there for a second. So, uh... We're almost done. We're gonna uh, try to get the rest of this done. Well, we Clean the grinder out. Grind, get so all the yummies off the inside don't, of the grinder. Don't, don't do that. And ready to uh, roll Check. up with the rice and more seasonings. Go over there. I'm gonna let you grind this last little bit. Um, for this, I made boudin egg rolls, but I also made some boudin balls because um, 
That's something else we usually get when we go okay. somewhere. Last the kids get blue balls. Go so ahead. we made some of that too. Um, and then I made hamburger cheese, cheeseburger, uh, egg rolls as well because I want to eat booty. So here it is after it's all been smudged. There's, the there's the rice. Big old my big old empty this. bowl. Um, see how much bezels we need to add. I, that was me giving my husband a taste of it because um, it I don't eat boudin, so I need a taste tester. Okay, so I'll get the salt out. So um, what we're gonna do is, he says it was okay, ratio, but bland. So, I'm gonna do a cup so um, I was trying to get a ratio of like one cup to one cup please He's excuse my videoing i'm trying to work with one hand and video with the other i'm not a professional my video camera um, skills so i'm getting a cup of the boudin together and he's one getting rice, a cup of rice and we're trying to pour it in at the same time just to get a a, a one to one ratio i really don't know if that's the correct this was like a fly by the seat of my pants recipe um so not fair because i don't really like to follow recipes i think that's a cajun thing as well we're kind of like, making it a use some of this, use some of that, put some of this in there, you know. Um, so we kind of got uh, one for one right, we're gonna continue to do this till in there. Done. Then now we started we adding the seasonings. And y'all, this is my favorite season. It's my, one of my very good friends is the inventor. Oh, Jesus, um, he likes the beasles. Her, her husband's the inventor, and the I can't get enough of all of their stuff. The other half and uh, now I'm adding some green onions that I chopped earlier to it. And um, beasles, as you saw, and uh, then we're just gonna kind of smush it around. Um, add a little bit of salt because we some yeah. salt lovers. That's right, cholesterol Ooh. is not a care. Um, that's some cayenne pepper because beasles is not um, super spicy. It's got a good flavor, but um, my kids and my husband tend to like things a little spicy, so we added some cayenne pepper. And um, that's some garlic powder. Cause he said it needed some more garlic flavor. So the then I'm gonna what smudge it all hell? around here in a second, I think, unless I drop my phone <laughs> again. <laughs> um, oh, this is just more seasoning. I don't even know what I handed him. That's probably onion powder. Um, yeah, when you're making stuff like this, you gotta, you can look at a recipe, but you gotta put in there what you're gonna eat. If you and your kids ain't gonna eat it, Oh, your spouse ain't gonna eat it. There ain't no point in following a recipe. One hand. You know, if you don't like garlic, don't put garlic in it. If you, you like know about a garlic. lot of garlic, put a lot of garlic in it. You know, that's just yeah, how you do it. Camera. So, uh, not me. Here it is. The hubby took the phone. I can't believe he doesn't really like to do stuff like, like this. To? He took it so I could roll it around. And as you can see, it's kind of, it's like it's kind of uh, dry. You know, because uh, there's not a lot of juice in it, and that's why we so reserve that juice says, that we reserved. To save so that a little we bit could of the cooking juice. Um, pour a little so bit into this, little and bit. I think that's what I'm going to do here so in a go second. Grab some. Is um, add a little bit of that uh, the the boiling yeah, juice, but, but which is the 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 leftover um, stuff from the from boiling it, so that you're not putting add. It kind of smells like when we. My buy grandma it was a Cajun. Don't it? You know, trace my line back to Canada with the Acadians and all of that. And she How's always told me never add water to anything. Okay. Always add a flavor. All right, so it's either, you know, it's a bouillon of some kind. It's a soup base of some Before kind, but right never just it. water. And that's why I saved that juice. And here he is taking a little taste. He's such a serious oh, face. Um, he says it, it was good. He oh, said he probably would do it spicier if it was just him eating it. Here I am about to roll him up. I put a little bit on the... Um, the wonton and just you know tuck it and roll tuck it and roll and these are some tiny little they kind of like spring rolls almost in size uh, which is perfect you know the kids and then I'll take my finger and I'll dip it in a little bit of water and I should have showed that I apologize and uh, you just rub it on the end and it's kind of like makes it glue and it sticks Thomas get off and, uh, of it so here I am I'm just gonna roll a few more <clears throat> You're not allowed to watch YouTube. And these wonton wraps you can find usually in the produce section of your store. Um, they're real easy to work with. They're fairly, um, I mean, they're about $3 for a pack of them. Um, I don't remember how many they have in each pack. I know that 
with my large family, we usually buy about three packs when we do the cheeseburger egg rolls. Um, and like I said, I did uh, cheeseburger egg rolls as well as um, these Buddha egg rolls. And I guess technically they shouldn't be called egg rolls because I don't have any egg in there, huh? So we just gonna call them Buddha rolls. Um, while I'm rolling, I'll tell y'all a funny story. I went to a wedding one time and some friends of mine were there and, and I was like, how's the food? And, and my friend Mitch says, oh, Shane, don't eat the egg rolls. They are so gross. Don't, don't, don't even do it. So I listened to my friend and I didn't eat the egg rolls. Well, the next day, everybody's talking about how awesome these egg rolls were. He had pulled that thing where you tell people something yucky so they don't eat it all. Boss mad. I was like, I can't believe I fell for that one. I know, goofy story. Just trying to waste some time while I'm rolling. Um, I just wanted to roll enough times on camera so that people who maybe have never rolled before could, could get a real good look at how easy it is because I think people get intimidated by things like this. So, I think I'm gonna roll two more. And as far as the amount I'm putting in, I kinda, I winged that too, I really did. Uh, like I did the first one and thought, you know, do I need more or less, did I do the right amount, was it good? And go from there, it's, the thing about cooking y'all is you just gotta do it. If you do something and it don't turn out good, don't do it again. Don't worry and fuss over every minuscule detail. You know, you leave something out, you know, as long as it's not something you left out for the chemistry of the item, I wouldn't you stress. You can't stuff, leave, you, you know, something important out of cake mix. But with something like this, somebody might not like green onions. It doesn't somebody matter. might want to, to add, like, raw onions, was, like raw yellow off. or white onions. Ooh, that would be good, white onions. Or jalapenos. That would have been good. Chop up some jalapeno in the boudin. So just have fun with it, you know. And uh, in a minute, I'm going to start making the boudin balls. So here I am right. rolling up some of the boudin um, into a ball form. And that's about the size a boudin ball is. They're, they're fairly large, but, you know, that's just the, how they like them, you know. So then here I have some flour seasoned with a bunch of stuff, beasles, eggs, and some breadcrumbs I made myself. Please excuse my ugly cabinets. We just moved into this house, and I haven't had a chance to change all that. So I'm putting it in the flour and seasoning mixture first and just rolling it around to coat it, not pushing too hard. Then I'm gonna put it in the egg and coat it with the egg. And then I'm gonna put it in my homemade breadcrumbs. And my breadcrumbs are easy, you know what I do? I buy or uh, the bread at the bread store that's going close to date and you can't eat it. And um, I toast it in the oven with nothing on it. And then I run it through a blender. And then I bag it up in Ziploc bags and put it in the freezer. You know, so I'm gonna do another one to give you an idea of uh, how easy this really is. I'm just gonna roll up a ball of boudin, roll it around in my beasles and parsley. I think I had in there some dried parsley and flour um, mixture, and then in my plain old egg mixture, and then into my breadcrumbs. Now, what I did with them after we left here is I put them in. I put the pan of egg rolls and boudin balls in the freezer. I find if you're gonna fry something that you're making on your own like this, I find letting it sit in the freezer for about 20 minutes really helps when it comes time to uh, to fry it, like it holds together better. I don't know if that's a thing, but that's what I do. Okay, the dirty floor. So here's the uh, boudin balls and the uh, boudin egg rolls on the pan. And, and uh, I think I'm about to do some cheeseburger so ones cheeseburger. just to give you an idea. Um, this is just ground meat, ground meat the with trinity. the trinity. Lots of garlic. There we go, hunk of garlic. Mm, garlic. And then I took some, some, uh, and then I threw some celery in there. cheese, just I some cheddar cheese, of it and, I put it and put there. some of that in there. Of course, salt, pepper, and beasles, um, of course. Makes it taste yummy. Oh, that's a lot of cheese. You know, oh, well, use as much one. cheese as you want. Use whatever kind of cheese you want. It. Don't use cheese. We've had them plenty of times where Mama didn't feel like going to buy cheese. Um, we've done it with American cheese. And, you know, Ooh, one slice can maybe go into three boudin. Me and boudin. Good lord. End, into three egg water rolls. On it, it's like a See, now I'm using the water, making it stick. Blew it up. 
And as you can see, it's kind of dark. That's because we outside. We wanted to fry outside and not heat up the house. This is South Louisiana. It was hot. Here he is putting in um, one egg roll and one boudin ball just to kind of see uh, how they're going to taste. Here's Alicia. She's scared. <laughs> she's going to go ahead and take a bite of... Uh, I believe she's going to eat a bite of the egg roll. Yeah. Let's see. Her face too will... Oh, hot. Oh, she said too hot. Um, Daniel really enjoyed the boudin balls. He said they were crispy and that is good. really good. And Alicia really liked the boudin egg rolls. Um, they taste like the store ones. So, yeah. There you go. Good. The big ones are the cheeseburger and the little ones are the... Right away. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.